Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing off the CyanogenMod 9 ROM on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. Developers have been working hard to get a full working port going. It is still a work in progress. There are still a lot of things that need to be fixed. I'm not going to be doing a how to install video until they get a lot of these things fixed. But I kind of just wanted to show you guys uh, it running on our Galaxy S3. So my device is off at the moment. Let's go ahead and turn it on. We can check out that awesome new Sign and Jamont boot animation, which they have included. And there it is right there, very cool. Well, lots of people like that boot animation. But anyways, as you saw, it boots up very quickly right away. You're going to get something that has stopped. Um, you're going to get that probably a few times throughout the video. As I said, it is a work in progress. There's still uh, many things that need to be worked out. So anyways, let's get into it. Right away, lock screen. You got your lock screen to your camera, and you can unlock the device. You have that stock ICS lock screen. Pull down your notification bar as well. Unlock your phone. So here we go. Let's go ahead and go to menu, settings, scroll down, go to about phone. And under about phone, you will see signage mod version. This video was made on July 11th, so uh, that this is progress as of July 11th. Keep that in mind. Uh, the build date's actually um, yesterday, the July 10th. But anyways, this video is being made on the 11th. For those of you that would like to know, Android 4.0.4 ICS. Quickly tap on it. You get that nice ICS uh, Easter egg going on. But anyways. Uh, other things, uh, camera, you got that stock ICS camera application it actually didn't work for me last time I tried to take a picture, it actually forced closes on me. Uh, so it looks like it's locking up again. As I said, there's going to be things that are just not going to work. Uh, camera would be one of them. I'm going to try and make a phone call. Of course you got your stock application. Let's go ahead and try and make a phone call. So it seems like it's working. Thank you for calling Sprint. All right. So the phone call actually worked. What I did notice, though, is actually you'll see 3G is working up at the top here. So up in the notification bar, you will see that little 3G icon right there. So 3G is working. To show that, I'm going to go ahead and go to my browser really quick. And let's type in a Google search. Let's say QB King 77. So we'll search QB King 77. I spelled it wrong. And search. And you'll see the search is working. So... 3G is on and working, but what I did notice is when I made that call, I'm going to go ahead and make it again. You'll see the icon, the 3G icon goes away while I'm on this call. So let's go ahead and see if I can actually connect to something. So it, see, as you can see, it looks like um, CM9 has, I don't know if it just took away the ability to be on 3G while on call or it's just a ROM bug or something that will need to be looked into. It's just something I actually just noticed while on this video, while uh, making this video. So wanted to test that out myself. So that's one of the things that will probably need to be worked out. Uh, but calls work. Uh, let's go ahead and try a text message. Let's go ahead and text Google 466453 and we will say, hey, of course you got your stock ICS keyboard going on right here, which I definitely like stock messaging application as well looks like it's sent so of course Google will respond eventually uh, notification bar you can swipe uh, you have a, a nice little theme to it up at the top you've got these uh, notification button panels uh, that you can customize I'll get to that in a sec Wi-Fi Bluetooth GPS sound uh, the notification bar is somewhat transparent but it is definitely dark tinted uh, for sure. Otherwise, app drawer, you got your stock ICS launcher. You do have the Apollo music application, which is a CM9 music application, actually, uh, where you can scroll through and go to your recent apps, uh, recent songs, playlists, etc. I don't have, I only have a few songs on here, actually, and they're all classical music. Uh, it is pre rooted. You'll see Super User right there. Um, uh, what's great is 3G is working. That's definitely a big step. I haven't tried Wi Fi myself. I can turn it on and test it. Uh, let me go ahead and try and connect to my Wi-Fi, actually. All right, so connected to my Wi-Fi. Looks like it is going well, and it is. So it's working great. Uh, Wi-Fi works like a charm. Again, camera was something that did not work. I don't know about GPS. I'm not going to test it, uh, but I would guess it doesn't work. But I don't know. Maybe it does. 
Uh, again, this is a work in progress. I'm just kind of showing it uh, working. Let's go ahead and go back into settings. So tap that settings button. Uh, when in settings, you have uh, some other options that are basically not in stock ICS. You have a launcher settings right here. So you have home screen settings, change the number of home screens, uh, transition effects. You can turn off your search bar. Uh, you have other things as well there. Um, you have drawer settings, uh, more transition effects uh, settings as well. Whoops. And you also have some general settings. You can auto rotate the screen if you would like. And you also have lock screen settings. So you saw I had the default lock screen. So you can have screen security where you can choo choose your screen lock. It looks like uh, face unlock was not included. I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, no big deal there, obviously. Uh, you can turn it to menu unlock. So when you press the menu button and unlocks it, uh, you can change the background, owner, weather, calendar, and slider shortcuts. You can change slider shortcuts. So what you do is you have options to change, put shortcuts on certain uh, spots on the lock screen. So let's say I wanted to put the messaging application up at the top. Tap on it, go to applications, and find messaging. And there's messaging, and hit OK and that way messaging will be there. So I hit the save button, lock screen shortcut saved. Now when I go to my lock screen, it should show up. There's my messaging application on there. So you can customize your lock screen, go directly into your messaging application, which is very cool. So nice uh, lock screen options there. You have theme uh, options as well. Right away, it looks like you only have one. Uh, more to come, of course, with CM9. So you have the theme chooser, and you also have some system settings. So this is where you can mess with that notification drawer. Let's go in status bar. Uh, you can show the clock. You have AM, PM style. You can turn off, turn it on. Uh, you have battery status style as well. You can have icon, you can have percentage. So you'll see it uh, change to a percentage up there. Let's uh, focus on that. So you will see there it is a percentage now. And you also have hidden. So you can hide that battery icon or just put it back to default. So you have three icons there. You have signal status styles as well. Um, so that's really about it for status bar. You also have notification drawer. So here is where you can change those settings. So what you can do is you, you have a bunch of options there, but you can go to widget buttons and turn on certain ones. Go to sleep, media skip, airplane mode, lock screen, LTE. So let's turn on LTE, mobile data, orientation, um, Wi-Fi AP. So there we go. I turned on a bunch of them. When I go down now, you will see that they are all there. You can scroll through them. So you can turn them on and off, of course, as you as you please. You can also change the order of them. Just go to widget button order and change that uh, whatever order you want, of course. You can move them around and they basically automatically change their order. So that's great as well. So those are uh, notification drawer settings. Change your wallpaper, font size as well. That's just about it for system settings. Under device, you have advanced settings as well. So some screen changes and sensor changes. I'm not really going to get into those. Uh, but other than that, that's, that's really about it. You got some performance down here. I don't believe you'll be able to overclock or anything. Go to processor and maximum frequency. Looks like, yeah, no overclocking. It looks like you can try underclocking if you would like. Uh, more to come in the future, of course, though. So just overall, I wanted to get uh, a video going reviewing CM9 on the Galaxy S3 running very smoothly, though. I mean, not too many force closes, still very smooth. Uh, so very, very promising for Galaxy Sprint Galaxy S3 owners. Uh, you have screenshots, profile, reboot, press and hold that home button. You've got your recent running apps list right here. Swipe away ones that you want to close out. That's very smooth. Uh, that's pretty impressive. Um, so yeah, but uh, it looks like Google decided not to text me back. I'm not too sure why. Usually it does take a while, but uh, it, I'm sure text messaging is working just fine. Uh, but that's really about it. So definitely let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment. Uh, be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. Expect more CM9 videos to come as updates come. So as I said, be sure to subscribe. And as always, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.